Then the last model is HRU model, Harrison Russo Ulman model, and it deals with access rights of subjects and ensuring the integrity of those rights. So a lot of times what happens is that user executes a command and then some operations happen in the background. And it is not always the case that one command leads to one operation. Sometimes the user may issue one command, but that command in the background may be, may be running eight different or maybe 10 different transactions. Okay. So what this HRU model, Harrison Russo Ulman model says, says is that if a user executes a command and if that command in turn executes, let's say 10 different operations in the background, then either all of those 10 operations should, should complete successfully or none of those oper operations should complete successfully, which means that either that complete command should be successful or it should completely fail. It should not be happen that the command was executed which was supposed to execute 10 transactions in the background, but only five transactions were executed, executed successfully and then something happened and then the remaining five transactions could not be executed. That is not how it should work. So it says that if a user has right to execute a command, which in turn commits multiple operations, then if one operation fails, the entire command must fail. That is what the Harrison-Russo-Ulman model says. Okay.